Hey guys, it's Travis Cook here of Learning How to Think. So, we have the BBC. They have written an article uh, about Trump's condition, right? And if you've seen the video that he just released, you would have noticed that there was a very, very big uh, impetus or showing or revelation on therapeutics right like he was saying they're miracles from god that this treatment has helped him so much and he feels so much better and it's a really really big and crucial part of the message that he gave out it's like the very center point the very almost the entire reason the video was made was to show that he's doing very well because of the therapeutics now, if you needed any more proof that how fucking useless the BBC is, that how fucking biased the BBC is, uh, check this article out, right? This just shows you that there are people, maybe like Bill Gates, who funds the BBC and probably has a big part to say in the medical uh, side of things. Not a single fucking mention of the word therapeutics. All of this other stuff, all of this saying, you know everything else but therapeutics you could do a search for it control f therapeutics not a damn mention now i wonder why that is huh is somebody scared is there someone scared a little bit worried that they're about to lose the vaccine narrative I think there is. I think there is. I think right now there are some globalists running around like headless fucking chickens trying to figure out how the fuck to contain this one. Because this seems like check fucking mate. If Trump comes out of this healed within days because of therapeutics, how the fuck can they continue the vaccine narrative? They can't. It's just exploded. Everyone knew about this instantly. Everyone I'm speaking to knew about this. This has gone all over the world very, very fast. And then it comes out that therapeutics have helped him. How are you going to convince somebody that they need this vaccine that's untested and brand new and hasn't been trialed for long term when maybe he takes, I don't know, some miracle HCQ therapeutic or something? I don't know if it's going to be that. Maybe not. Maybe it is. But it's funny that he mentioned it a few months back. So maybe this was just being set into place beautifully i mean he probably doesn't even have fucking covid like if you understand QAnon, you understand trump and the art of war and how this really all plays out if you're amongst the members of the population have the high enough iq to be able to figure this shit out then he probably doesn't even have covid and this is just a beautifully played masterful tactical chess move to really just just get it in the bag get that final that that big punch that trump card um anyway it's too early yet to say exactly what's going to happen but i'm just seeing it i'm seeing the the classic globalist fucking like so you had the the disinformation coming out you had literally had the guy make a video saying what's happening and then you have the classic spin so there was some anonymous source from the white house right that just so happens to say that he was nearly dying on oxygen and all of this and needed this and whatever and but then you and then it's like say that uh, then there was another article saying he's taking remdesivir and some other treatment you know couldn't mention anything other than what's been put out so far in the narrative um because they are scared of losing the vaccine narrative this could be it folks uh, i'm very very curious to see how it's uh, gonna play out but it's just so obvious now. Anyone who can say uh, can't see through the media deception on this one. This is just pathetic, pathetic. Even you know you had the the the, the, the Trump saying how he feels all right. You know he feels pretty good, and the doctors come out saying his condition is good. And then you have a Daily Mail article that had huge big letters saying is is his condition is terrible. Anonymous source said this, and it's just. Fuck, how pathetic are you people? You people are just fucking useless. So, it's very exciting, folks. Of course, I'll be watching this like a hawk, seeing what happens in the next couple of days. Um, but this does feel like the one, it could be one of the October surprises that was being talked about over and over again. Um, but 
who knows? It's not. Too, it's just a little bit too early yet to see what's going to come out of it for sure. But I, for one, am very excited. And Trump was in my fucking dreams again last night. I've had five dreams of Trump in the past 10, 11 days. It's insane. I've... I, I think I've driven, I've, that's more than I've dreamt about the man in my entire life. I haven't had five Trump dreams before this period in my entire life. So this has just happened over and over again. Of course, I can understand a little bit subconsciously last night because I saw that video and I was pretty hyped and I made a video about it. And then I can understand another time, you know, in this period because I watched that debate. But the other three times, I wasn't even really thinking about him. Not more than you think about anyone in the usual sort of time period. So... It's very fascinating. I don't know if I'm getting some messages here or whatever, if anyone can correlate with that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about that one, but it's a little bit fascinating, a little bit interesting. Uh, I'm very excited to see where this is going to go. And I just, ah, oh, BBC, you fucking are pathetic. Uh, that's like the World Health Organization writing through the BBC like, oh no, we can't let anyone know that he's been cured by a therapeutic. Oh no. There goes your vaccine narrative, motherfuckers. See you later. Goodbye. Oh dear. It's, it's beautiful, folks. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I think I'll leave it at that. And as soon as I know more, I will create more, uh, another video, giving updates on this, because this is very, very crucial to see what happens. And like I say, this could blow the vaccine narrative out of the damn water. So we'll see.